a video for you. Check it out. One big warning. You can be on a, on a bicycle, on a motorcycle, whatever, and it's got a battery that lasts for a year. One of the flaws of the design in this bike. Hey Sandy, where where do you get the signal light? It's not a matter of is it going to fall for you or not. It's just a matter of when that's going to happen. Hey guys. Good morning. Look what I got. Yeah, I've seen a lot of my buddies review this and check it out. So I reached out to them. I had to check it out to see how good it is. So that will be in the next video. Just have to move it. Today we're going to be talking about three uh, important things that have to do with uh, the ST, Lowrider ST. If you are an owner of a Lowrider ST, this is definitely a video for you. Check it out. One big warning. <laughs> So guys, welcome back. I've been waiting. Uh, well, this is, let's put it this, this is my new, new-ish 2022 Lowrider ST Gray Ghost in uh, Gunship Gray. I think I was the first one in New Jersey to get the Lowrider ST. So I've been owning it for a few months now and there were a few uh, things that bunched up that I was waiting for, for enough of them to bunch up so I can, uh, you know, talk about. I'll talk about three different things today that, uh, I think uh, are not being discussed about the Lowrider ST or things that I've been getting a lot of questions about in the comments section down uh, on my videos. Three different things. One of them is really, really crucial or really important. And I think that if you are an ST owner, you already probably experienced it. And if you did not experience it, it's just a matter of time. It's gonna happen to you. It's not whether it's gonna happen to you, it's the question is, when is it gonna happen to you? Uh, well, let me talk about the first thing, and that is the ring. The ring, the ring around the front headlight. This plastic ring, and I'll show you in a second, I'll take it out. This, look up anywhere you want, people on forums and stuff like that. This was, I think, one of the flaws of the design in this bike. It is either poorly designed or poorly manufactured, but everyone I've heard of lost one, at least one. And I'll show you why very soon. Uh, it fell off mine uh, like three months after owning the bike, it fell off. Luckily, I was able to find it. I was riding with my daughter and we got back home and at one point she says uh dad what what fell off your bike at uh, so and so place i said what are you talking about and i go in front and i see i'm missing that ring i pull up the video and i'm able to locate the exact point so by the time i got to uh to find that ring it been it's been run over by so many cars so i'll show you in a second what it looks like so for whatever reason uh harley designed this uh where there's I'm just gonna turn it. And this is after I did the fix, okay? Let me try to get it out. This black rim keeps keeps falling, and I'll show you how to fix it and how to hopefully avoid uh, you losing it again and again. Okay, so I was able to get to get this plastic rim out. Now, it, ha it serves no function whatsoever. It's just aesthetics. It covers, it covers uh, this black rim and the bolts and screws that hold hold the, the headlight into the fairing. Okay, now the way they designed it, now <laughs> probably you can see, let me try to get you into some good sunlight. You can see all the scratches and from the cars that ran it over when I actually uh, retrieved it and found it. So do you see here? Do you see here all the scratches that I have after this uh, car's ran over it when it fell off my bike it was on a local road anyway the way they designed it is literally very very small three small tabs plastic i would even say flimsy without insulting anybody flimsy three tabs one two and three right here and i'll show you a side a side view of it and this thing pretty much fits right in here one two and three you just put it in and then turn it a little bit and that 
locks into place. Now, when I say lock, I wouldn't actually use the word lock. It doesn't snap. It doesn't, there's no tight fit. It literally, it's so flimsy. That's why people uh, keep losing it. So I uh, said to myself, you know, after, after one of the guys that actually, uh, lost it said to me he asked me did you lose i said no nah, I'm, I'm lucky nothing happened to me well a month later i actually lost it that's when it happened to me so i said it, it'd be good service if i let you guys that are going to get their sts soon or already have their sts or are going to be losing <laughs> that ring i'll tell you how i fixed it very easy there's no there's no fix uh it needs to be redesigned or I don't know, aftermarket uh, will do it, uh, do some kind of a design over here, but I don't see the profit over here in it. So what I did pretty much is uh, I used uh, some double-sided 3M tape, 3M tape over here, double-sided, just so I increase, increase the friction. I used uh, some 3M or Gorilla, whatever, two-sided, two-sided tape on the top. You can do it, uh, on other places just to increase the friction that and once I spin it and it's in place so it's pretty much glued in but it's not glued in permanently I did hear people using uh, silicone or some kind of something like that sorry sorry no, it's all right. thank you I did uh, see people using silicone and stuff like that but then I was afraid I won't, whenever I do want to get it off it won't come off so so yeah it's in put it in spun it clockwise and now make sure the tape on the top inside is you know is it's, there's good contact and you can see it's not moving otherwise if you don't do that it easily easily from uh, you know from riding from the bumps from the vibrations it finds its way out and falls and like I said it's not a matter of is it gonna fall for you or not it's just a matter of when that's gonna happen to you so very very big warning hope you didn't uh, let me know down in the comments how many rings did you lose i probably should get myself a new one i think it's like 30 or 40 dollars on harley the thing is you, you can't get them right now so let me know by the comments how many times you lost that ring and what you did uh to mitigate that and how did you fix that problem i did it with two-sided tape second thing i want to talk about today guys and i've got a lot of comments about it is uh Hey Sandy, where where do you get the signal light brackets? Okay, uh, just a little bit of information, just so you know. Originally, when the bike comes in, it, there's no engine guard. All you have is the fairing, and there's this little uh, brace that goes from one side to the other. Let me show it to you. Okay, now this is the brace that originally comes with the bike and it's uh, installed like right here, right there. That brace uh, holds the fairing. It's the lower fairing support and that bolts in to the frame right over there. And as you see right here, those are the places, I think I got it the other way around, but uh, anyway, this is where the uh, turn signals connect. So when you're installing either the flat out bar like I had before, which actually, by the way, I'm selling it. If you wanna, if you're interested, go to my website, holyshift.us and pick it up, very good price. I'll send it out to you. I'm not using it anymore, the Harley Davidson flat out bar. Uh, you need, or if you're using any other engine guard, like in this case, uh, the mustache guard, you need to have this part number this harley part by the way it's i'll put a link down below down by the description and i'll put the part number right here on the screen and this bracket is a harley part and it connects any element anything that you put whether it's uh, the flat all bar which sticks out over here or the mustache uh, engine guard or just a normal engine guard that supports the engine guard to the fairing and that's where this signal light connects so to those of you that were asking where do i find uh that part it's a harley part nothing special about it just look it up i'll uh, put a link again over here so you know where to find 
this bracket right here, this bracket that connects the engine guard to the fairing and your uh, signal lights are mounted on it. Third topic that I get a lot of questions about, let me show you, it's about um, the Bluetooth controller. Now the Bluetooth controller is uh, an add-on that I put uh, so I'm able to control my uh, Rockford Fosgate audio system. I just found it cumbersome uh, to try to get, you know, uh, to try to operate my phone while riding and I wanted something closer that by a click of a button I can raise uh, the volume up, volume down, song forward, or pause. And this is actually a very cheap item that I found on Amazon. Amazon, I'll, I'll put a link down by the description again. It's pretty much, I don't know, 15, 10, 15, 20 dollars, not sure. And it, it doesn't connect. It actually, wait a second, let me show you. It actually connects to the phone. It doesn't connect to the, to the audio system. It connects to the phone. Here you go. Let me show you connects by itself once I click it on uh, wait a second okay, let me turn the music on the minute you turn the music on my disco club my disco. Love, baby, you see it's pretty much right here this is actually moving controlling my phone look look how it's moving the phone itself it has nothing to do with the stereo system itself and it's extremely convenient. I'm going to skip a fo uh, song forward by just clicking it over here, right here on that button. You see, next song, next song, next song, volume up. Okay, pause. Very cheap. It's a generic, literally, it work on any phone, any Bluetooth device. There's no set, just initial setup. Once it's paired, it works flawlessly. It has a battery. This little thing has a little battery on it. Let me show you how it connects. Literally, it can be on a, on a bicycle, on a motorcycle, whatever. And it's got a battery that lasts for a year. And then, uh, so it's like really convenient. The link down by the description. These are the three things uh, that I wanted to talk to you about today. Stay tuned because I have a lot of more new stuff waiting in the garage. Uh, the next coming video is going to be the Let's Roll Dolly system, which is, I've seen it uh, with John. I've seen it with Camilo, Rob Simmons. I looks like great uh, so i reached out to them and they sent it out to me to test and check it out let's see if it works for me i want to unbox it and set it up and check it out but i have a few more other videos being uh, in the works right now i'm going to be having the about 1000 uh, miles review with all the upgrades that i did on the bike i got new signal lights from uh, custom dynamics that are going to be installing and comparing i'll show you later i have a few more rides stay tuned for all these these are coming very 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 soon i'm sandy oh yeah 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 before i go next week there's one week left i'm giving away the tour pack the advan black tour pack this guy well not that guy that guy stays with me but you guys the winner of uh the raffle the tour pack raffle is going to be uh getting any tour pack they want any color you decide the color you decide the the backrest so that's the winner the winner is going to be getting that anywhere in the world wherever you live and you're the winner you're going to be getting it uh from uh, advan black so next week it's going to be we're going to be having the raffle last chance to grab yourself some uh tickets on my website any item you buy look you look at even this beautiful rosary uh, shirts hats any items on my website gives you entries to the raffle that's it for now guys hope you enjoyed this one i'm sandy and you're watching holy shift till the next video guys peace out